In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create this flat design boat. How to get started on the boat, we're going to head up to our file menu, select the new document and go to the web templates. We're just going to pick the 1280 pixel by 1024 pixel document. Click create when you're ready to go. First thing you need to add in is a background color. We're just going to use a blue color to represent the water uh, for this background. So choose your rectangle tool here and come over to your fill color. Just choose a fairly darkish navy blue, I guess. Probably something like that'll do. If you want the same hexadecimal code as me, just 0090F4. Alright, and before you draw it, just turn the stroke or the border off. So click on the stroke button there and choose the white box with the red line going through it just to turn it off. Now we're going to start in the top left hand corner. Click and drag down to the bottom right corner. And you'll have a nice blue background in. Uh, now you can lock that background into place by simply going to your Layers panel up the top here, hitting the little arrow next to Layer 1, and on this rectangle layer here, hit the empty box next to the eye. And you'll see a little padlock appears. That just locks that layer into place so we can no longer edit it or manipulate it. Alright, so what we're going to do next is the base of the boat. Okay, I'm sure there's a technical name for it, but I don't know, I don't know what it is. Grab your rectangle tool to draw this. Back in your properties, we want to choose a reasonably dark brown color for the bottom of our boat. So something like that will probably do us. Uh, the code for that is 743B00. And we're simply going to draw a rectangle that comes out a fair way along the bottom, like so. You can resize this later if need be. Now using our direct selection tool, the white arrow, I want you to click on the top right corner of this shape. Hold shift on your keyboard and press the right key a few times until you get a reasonably good looking front to the boat. And that looks pretty decent there. Now we're going to grab our rectangle tool again, making sure you clicked off everything first, and then change the fill color to a kind of gold color, like a yellowy orange. Um, not too orange, not too yellow. About there looks good. The code that I've got is FFB934. And we're going to start this bottom, oh sorry, top left corner of the brown section. I'm going to click and drag up. Oops, I missed that. There it is. And we're going to bring it out so it connects to the right hand side of the boat like so. Okay, so you've got a yellow rectangle that attaches to the brown rectangle below. Now using your direct selection tool again, I want you to click on the top right corner of that yellow bit and just hold shift and press your right arrow until you get the front of the boat matching the bottom. So we should have the same sort of angle there. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing I want to do is I want to get the yellow to taper off towards the back. Okay, so what we're going to do there is simply click on the top left corner of the yellow box and bring it down. So click on it once and then click and drag down. So you don't want to go all the way to the brown, but probably about there will look pretty reasonable. Okay, so that is how the front of our boat is looking at the moment. I don't know if I need to nudge this over one more. Yeah, that looks... Oh, yeah, that's probably right there. I had it right the first time. Okie dokie, so that's how our boat's looking at the minute. The next thing we're going to draw on is going to be the motor at the back. And the way we do that is grab our rectangle tool again and change our fill colour to white. And we're simply going to draw, it doesn't matter where you draw this one, a little rectangle, oh, say about that size. Okay, so you can see that there. It's just going to sit down oh, roughly about, about there, I'd say. Okay, so that's going to be our motor. Now, the first thing I want to do to this motor is grab our direct selection tool and click on the top left-hand corner. Hold Shift and press your right key. Oh, I don't know, about five times, doesn't really matter, but something like that. Um, then using our just our selection tool, the black arrow, click back on that. And actually we might need our white arrow for this, sorry. Use your white arrow, the direct selection tool, and click on it. And you'll see these little white circles appear near each of the corners. Just grab any of those circles and bring them in towards the center a little bit, just to round those edges. So it gives it a kind of rounded look. 
Alrighty, the next thing I'm going to do is use the rectangle again to draw a little stem that comes out of the bottom of the motor. This would be where the propeller would go, but we're not going to go into that much detail. It's just going to be something that looks like that. Okay, now to join those two shapes together, just select both of them by holding Shift and clicking on them both. And use your Shape Builder tool here to click and drag over the two shapes. And that just combines them together to make one big shape. Now we're just going to put a little, I suppose, racing stripe on the motor as well to give it a bit more colour. So with your rectangle tool again, uh, change your fill colour to some sort of bright reddy orange. Um, that'll probably do me there. So FF5935. I'm just going to start on the edge there and click and drag out a little stripe like so. Okay, and that is our motor for our boat done there. So that's pretty simple. Now, now the next thing we need to do is just draw a little cabin up here where you have the person driving the boat uh, sitting. All right, and the way we do that, we're going to use the rectangle tool yet again. So head over to your toolbox, grab your rectangle tool and change the fill color to white. All righty, so now with the white selected, what we're going to do is we're going to Actually draw over the top of the yellow. We're going to come down to the brown section and draw up. And I don't want to go too high. Probably about there is a good size for our cabin. Okay, that's just the start of it. What we're going to do next is grab our selection tool and right click on it, arrange it, and send it to the back. Okay. In your layers, we might just need to bring it above. That's this here the blue background. I forgot about that there. So that's where our cabin is sitting at the moment. It's behind everything except for our blue background. Now with the cabin we're going to grab our direct selection tool and click on the top right corner and I want you to hold shift and press the left button a few times so we get a cabin with a bit of an angle there like so. Okay we may need to stretch this out a little bit. I think it's a bit skinny so if yours is a bit skinny like mine feel free to just stretch it out and move it around as needed. It's more towards the back of the boat. This is positioned, by the way. Got a little bit of extra room at the front. Now you might stick a roof on this cabin. So using your rounded rectangle tool this time, I just want you to choose the same brown as what we chose before down here. So I might use the eyedropper tool for this. So with the eyedropper, you can just go and click on the brown and you can see my fill color changes to that brown. And because I had the cabin selected it went brown as well so make sure you're deselected from that before you change the color so now my fill's that brown I can grab my rounded rectangle tool back and I can simply draw a little roof that attaches to the cabin all right something looking like that is pretty decent probably doesn't even need to be resized um, on top of the cabin we're going to put in some little aerials I guess you'd call them uh, so I'm going to go back to the rectangle tool. You can change the color if you want, maybe make it a little bit darker. Might head more towards the black scale than anything else. And just coming pretty much straight up off the top of the roof, we're going to do one little aerial and then one slightly bigger one. There we go. Looking good. And last thing we might need to do is throw a few windows onto the boat here. All right, so this is where we're going to need to grab our rectangle tool again. And oh, actually, before we do that, we need to grab the same blue as our background. Once we've got that, then we can grab our rectangle again. And we're going to draw a rectangle that starts oh, probably about three quarters of the way across. I'm going to click and drag out roughly there. Okay, now using my selection tool I'm just going to highlight everything on the page there. So I've got everything selected and using my shape builder tool I'm going to cut away this part of the window. And to do that I'm going to hold the alt key and then click that section and that just cuts it away. I might even just change the blue on this window to make it a slightly different shade to the background so it's a bit easier to see. Make it a little bit darker, as if the window's got some tinting on it. There you go. Um, probably doesn't look perfect yet, so we might throw a few reflections onto this wind, 
crypto as well. So using our rectangle tool again, change the fill to white. And we're going to draw one skinny reflection that goes from the roof down to the base of the window. And it doesn't need to be too big, probably something like that. And next to it, we're going to draw another reflection, which is going to be just a little bit fatter. Probably something like that. Now, what we're going to do, oops, so we're going to grab the white direct selection tool and click on the base corners of both reflections. So I'm going to hold shift when I click on these. That should select all four corners down the bottom. So one, two, three, four. If I hold shift now and press the right arrow key, we can get a bit of an angle on them. We want to get it pretty much the same angle as the windscreen itself. Okay, so it should be looking something like that. Now feel free to nudge these around a little bit left and right if you want to get them closer or further apart. But that's roughly how I want that reflection on the windscreen to be looking. So if I press Control Zero now, I think we have a pretty reasonable looking boat. I think my cabin's probably just a little bit too big. If I resize it now, it'll probably stuff it all up. But I'll have a quick attempt at it. Oh, no, it's working all right. So I'm just using my selection tool there to resize it. Move it just to the left a little. There we go, that looks pretty good. So that's how we draw ourselves a flat design boat. Okay, if you want to save that up, you just need to go to the file menu, save as. You've got a few different options. You can leave it as an Illustrator file. Um, you can save as a PDF for print or even an EPS file. That will save it as a vector. Okay, so it can be resized without ever losing any quality. The other option is to export it for screens. Okay, now this time it'll be saved as a PNG file or a JPEG file. Alrighty, so you choose whichever one suits your needs, but PNG would be my recommendation. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you in this video. I'll catch you in the next one.